So you got Africans fighting in the war in Ukraine. Jack power. B, B, King, get free or die. Heavy is the head to wear the crown. All right, family, again, I need you to like this video. I need you to subscribe to this channel right here on King Job Power. I need you to hit that notification bell. Also, go to my brand new channel, The Throne of King Job Power. Subscribe there also. Okay, hit them notification bell. So you got Africans fighting in Ukraine. I mean, that was the craziest thing I done heard all year. Now, what Africans got to do with what's going on in Ukraine? You go all the way to Ukraine to risk your life for some people that don't even like black people. For some people that don't even like African people. That's just real. Even in the U.S., you got black people in the U.S. Army. They talk about we army. Who army? That's they army. And you just fighting for their agendas. And they hold up white power. That's just real. And so... You know, the Africans must got to be, they must be paying the Africans to come up there and fight for Ukraine. You see, but see, poverty will make you do some crazy things. See, and I'm not making no excuse because ain't no use for no African to be fighting in the war in Ukraine and with some of the most racist people towards black people. And they should have showed you that. They wouldn't even let black people get off the plane. I mean, get on the train and the bombs is falling. See? They wouldn't even let black people get on the train as a, the bombs is falling. But you got some Africans in Africa so desperate. You see what I'm saying? They'll go and risk their life, you know, for, for some money. See? That got to be what it is because... I mean, if you go fight in a war and you die, you ain't going to be able to spend the money. See what I'm saying? Your family would rather have you at home with them instead of fighting in the war that don't, don't have nothing to do with you. If you crying, get beat up by Russia, what is Africans going to gain out of that? Nothing. Nothing. Zero. But see, that's why I be saying and that's why black power going to Africa because we need to go to Africa and get in our brother's ear. That's not the right move. And build infrastructure in Africa so they won't have to go leave Africa to come to the United States or nothing. Especially not to go to no Ukraine and fight in a European war that ultimately, you know, ain't going to do nothing for you. You see what I'm saying? See, black power need to be in Africa. Like I originally said, because they just looking for a way to feed their family and they willing to die to do it. You got to remember the African original spirituality, they believe in a real afterlife, you know, because these religions don't believe in no afterlife today. And that's part of the problem. I just seen where the Chinese is building churches in Africa to further indoctrinate the African to listen to foreign entities. See, that's what they doing. They use, they know. People read. Unlike Negroes, they say if you want to hide something from a Negro, put it in the book, okay? If you want to hide something from a Negro, you just put it right there in the book. He ain't never going to find it. He'll walk here, turn over everything, and never touch them book, okay? Black people got book phobia or whatnot. But he know that you got this spiritual, you know, your whole energy is spiritual. With black people all over the world, it's spiritual. They done figured that out. So they done figured out your quote unquote Achilles heel or whatnot. And now they know how to use that and abuse that, which is mind control for they benefit. See what I'm saying? Now, I seen a video with Umar. Umar was like, nah, how the hell? We gonna donate some money to y'all, but y'all ain't do the same thing when it came to Somalia, Ethiopia, or whatnot. When they was having them problems up there in Tigray or whatnot, see, they ain't donate no. They actually donate no money then. But I got to agree with Umar on that because Umar was right, bro. Everywhere I've been going, you wanna you wanna donate a dollar to Ukraine? You wanna donate a dollar to Ukraine? Even at McDonald's, bro. 
they talking about, you know, I'm going to get some fries or something, you know, for my kids the other day. You want to donate a dollar to Ukraine? And then they asked, you know, even the people in front of me, the same thing. So I'm like, hold up, man, these people. And I seen some black people, you know, told them to keep the change and give it to Ukraine. I seen some black people do it. They're just real. Why is black people in America donating money to some Ukraine? Whether Russia win or Ukraine win, how is that going to benefit the black American, the African American? How, 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 I mean, what is that going to do? I seen some black um, African Americans gave up their change uh, at Applebee's or whatever the same way. Gave it up for Ukraine. I mean, what, what I mean, black people still ain't learned yet. That's why we need a, a strong nation in Africa. Africa need a capital, which I consider is Ethiopia. But, you know, the African diaspora need to go get in the mind of the African because they don't really know the white people. They just think because somebody's smiling at them that they like them. You see what I'm saying? And they done, you know, pour on to the African mind that they come in to help. When in reality, they come in to take. You see what I'm saying? Now, if the African knew that, I'm just talking about the normal African knew that, you know, they wouldn't be able to hold South Africa. You see what I'm saying? They wouldn't be able to, you know, hold the beautiful parts of Ghana. They, they learned that the African was selling land. They went over there and bought all the beautiful parts and selling selling it triple the price. You see what I'm saying? What the African would have gave it to you for. You see, it, this is how they do. They don't want you to have nothing on this planet, especially the African American. You know, because they know we got talents and they know if we they do everything in their power. I know everybody see this. They do everybody, every everything in their power to try to keep the African American separate from the African. They do everything in their power, man. They, you know, uh, uh, the returns to Africa that we've been doing, like the one to Ghana. The year return. Man, they should have made worldwide news. But guess what? They know that you pushing the society alone. See? It would be a communist uh country if they didn't have Africans or black people to push their society along. Because all them other uh, communities that came into America and economically outdid the American. Black and white economically and owning businesses or whatnot. See? It's just that the uh Land here is is owned by the European. So everybody, if nothing else, everybody going to have to pay him a land tax and set up anything. So if they don't be careful, it's going to be multiple ruling entities in the economic underworld. See what I'm saying? It's it going to be because everybody, even, you know, America like church on Sunday. The most segregated day of the week is Sunday. What happens? The, the Chinese go to their little, whether it's a mosque or their little temple or whatnot. The, the, the Europeans go to their little gothic, little demons on the church. Roman cathedrals or whatnot, they go in there. The Africans go down to the Realm Pancake and Deacon Pig Feet Chapel. And worship, which means they segregated. If y'all can't come together on an identity of God where all y'all can represent as Americans or whatnot, and not just everybody worshiping Jesus or whatnot as a, as a European deity, because that's what they show them around the world. I don't want to hear nothing about. I, already, I understand the Ethiopian story. I understand the Ethiopian story. 
But the way he presented around the world as a European and the Chinese is over there in Africa building churches and indoctrinating the Africans saying, yeah, man, give us some land, man. We're going to give y'all some God. And the Africans falling for it again. Uh, Jomo Kenyatta said, said that uh, Europeans came to Africa, Africa dead broke with a Bible, told the African to get on his knees and pray and read this scripture. The African opened his eyes. The European had the land, the gold, had everything. And the African sitting there with a book. See what I'm saying? These niggas come in, these uh, Europeans come in poor and desolate, get to the rich African, trick the African with religion, and, and, and now they own the, the whole land of Africa. But as we know, Africans done got majority of they, you know, stuff back. But you can't fall into neo-colonialism. See what I'm saying? You can't let, turn around and let them do the shit all over again, whether they got slant eyes or not. Okay? Or blonde hair and blue eyes. Don't matter. All of them are colonizers. Why would they China overpopulate? So they got to send them people somewhere. And they beefing with America, so they not going to sell no bunch of Chinese immigrants. Unless the black community were to come up, because they got to set up 10, 12 different buffers. If, if, if America was just black people and white people, they would have been gave us reparations. Listen to me now. Like this video. If America was just the original blacks that they brought here and the original whites that stole this country, they got the Indians in the middle, okay, and ain't none, no Negroes in the middle, so don't try to sneak it back in, okay, we don't talk to ghosts, we don't talk to Casper, okay, but if, if it was just the original people that came here, you know, you would have been got reparations. What is immigration? Buffers are on the key white people and the ruling society in power. Okay? Because they don't have no problem getting millions and millions and billions of dollars to a community, you know, that, that's closer to white. And bring them on in. They fly them in for free. See, they can fly black people back to Africa for free. Give you a check and tell you to go on. And they drop 300 on your head. I'd be all right with that. Most black Americans, if they knew that reparations, if you was to ever get it, it's going to come with repatriation. So if Af Af FBA knew and other organizations that love reparations knew that if, if, if they were to ever give it to you and they said that you had to repatriate and they're going to send you back to Africa to get the 300, 300K or 600K or whatever it may be. Black America's like, nah, man, I don't want the money, man. I don't want the money, man. I'd be broke. I would have just died and just sit on the porch and rock back and forth all day. I don't want the, I don't want the million. I'm good. I don't need a half a million. I'm good. I would just stay in the milk. This is what they would do if they knew that if they have them people would they ever pay it, they're going to start talking about next that y'all got to go. Y'all got to go. Y'all got the financial means to build your own nation. What Dr. Clark call it? The lonely nation away from home. Okay? The lonely nation away from home. But a lot of, you know, I know FBA, a lot of their sentiment will change about reparations because they think they're going to just get a big check and going to be some rich Negroes running around here or whatever. They not going to do that. See what I'm saying? If they knew it was going to come with repatriation, they might change their tone. But then some people be like, like me will be like, shit, get my money. I'm ready. I want it today. You see, today. Not tomorrow, today. You see? And so, but I'm not waiting on it. Again, we got to formulate a plan on regardless of whether they get a shit or not. We going to get it popping anyway. In the motherland and in America, you got to clean up the hoods. I mean, literally, get out there and clean up all the trash and make that shit look extravagant. 
But it seems funny. I bet you as soon as you do that shit, he'll start uh, uh, gentrifying the hood. As soon as you clean it up, he'll, he'll gentrify the hood and come buy everybody out. And then move, you know, some immigrants and some other people in. Man, they about to, man, they about to block immigration again. Are nothing but buffer zones, okay, to keep you away from the Europeans. That's just real. We got other business to do. More important shit to do. We, we got to bring these Arabs up in here and, you know, pay them or whatever. For, for what? I don't know. Okay, we got to bring the Ukrainians up in here. We got more important business to take care of. Even though Biden said that, you know, if black people would vote for him, you know, that would much further him towards reparations. So this is the pattern that they're going to use. They gonna, now they're going to keep every year, they're going to come out and say, we're going to give you reparations. And then as soon as they get in, they're going to act like they don't know what you're talk, you talking about. So you don't got no political party. You I mean in America, y'all gonna have to start your own political party. But then that's subversive activity. They they gonna start being like, oh, we gotta take them out. You see, because that's it's only one nation. And they say it's Democrats and Republicans. If you ain't with that, you know, then it's a problem. Because they not gonna let no nation survive in the nation. They done planned out the game for you to play. Gave you the money, gave you the ch chips and everything, the directions on how to do it. And that's just the way that it is. See, and that's just the way it's going to be. And so they got it planned, whatever they, however it goes, they got it planned out for you already. So they done planned years and they got think tanks. Shout out to Afro Think Tank, too. But they, because we need think tanks, too. But they got think tanks in America, okay, where they think 10 years ahead on, and plan 10, 20 years ahead on where they want the country to go. And right now, they want it in a race. Just being real. So, welcome to Rome. Welcome to Greece. They got all their rainbow business going on and everything. So, family, the Africans is up there, you know, just like African Americans is fighting in uh, 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 the United States Army. The Africans is running up there to Ukraine, you know, fighting for Ukraine against Russia. Now, where, 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 where you get that sentiment from? High beef? Where, 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 where you get that sit, sentiment from? Where that even come from? Let me tell y'all something right quick. Money is people. Okay? The original money is people. Alright? So, Africa got over 2 billion people. Damn near 2 billion people. And count them. And it's a young population under the age of 25. If you building uh, in like Lincoln, an uh, industrial revolution basically in Africa, and you got people under the age 25 and under, you got the youth. You can blow up the biggest industrial revolution ever. In Africa, because why? Money is people. You got, you know what I mean? People in Africa want to work. That's why they're coming to America. That's why they go to Europe. They want to work. It's no real industry there. You know what the industry is? Little, 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 little flea markets and roadside stands or whatnot. Man, you could, the ideas that the Africans got, I be seeing Africans building, you know, Helicopters out of tin cans and shit. Building cars out of scrap metal. I'm talking about they be driving them out of scrap metal. They done went and got a little engine or whatever and, you know, a frame and built around it with scrap metal. So imagine, that's how we know we built the pyramid. Imagine putting somebody like that 
in a real technological environment where he able to work. You know what we could create? See, that's 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 the industry I'm talking about. We'll be pumping out cars and I don't know if y'all want to go to space or whatnot, but whatever. The first Africans on the moon. The, the first Africans on the moon. Now, we can talk about that on another time because George Clinton uh, say we, you know, in the Dogon say we come from space. See? So did the ancient Egyptians. Yes, they did. Said they came from the cop, but that's another story for another day. But what am I saying? You know, we need a one Africa. That's it. We need a one Africa. If we can industrialize Africa, I did a video about two months ago, and I read a letter from a Jewish man. He said what the African Americans and the diaspora Africans need to do is go build their own industries in Africa. Why? Because he would like to do. But they know that they raped Africa and already been raping Africa. <laughs> and they know if we go over there that they not going to be able to do it the same as they used to. So he dropped you a jewel right there. We need to take heed. That just will. Africans need to be in Africa. But I understand why they go different places. They look, they want to eat, nigga. They want a better life. If, if, if you knew that, you know, you can go to another country and make thirty, forty, a hundred thousand dollars a year, come and work for a few years and come back into Africa, and, and you got a a couple million dollars to, to start an industry. See, that's that's what I'm saying. We need to be capital because all y'all already got some of that type of money. And so you take a hundred thousand to Africa, that's a million. What can you do with a million dollars in Africa? You think about that. You see what I'm saying? Then realize whatever money you holding on, whether it's um ten thousand, that shit a hundred thousand. What can you do with a hundred band? Over a hundred band. You can do something. So just economically, 10 forward makes sense to go to Africa, but the Africans need to stay in Africa. But they not going to do it because there's no real industry there for them to economically feed their families and take care of, you know, you know, just basic food, clothing and shelter. All right. You see what I'm saying? But they got every resource that they need. We just need to go over there with our people, get in their ear and industrialize and capitalize on that. You see what I'm saying? And so, family, like this video, subscribe to the channel, all right? Go over there to the throne of King Job Power. Do the same thing. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. See y'all on the next one. Job Power. Be, be, king. Get free or die. Heavy is the head to wear the crown.